Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and we're going to take a look in on how the bait um, situation is going on here. I'm down to three of these mortar trays that I'm still trying to extract the worms from, and they're still going strong. Every time I pull them out, I get a good pound or two out of the whole bunch, not just one. So today I thought we would take a look and see how we're progressing and maybe we can even get a new bin started. All right, I'm going to put you down and let's take a look. All right, here is the first container. We'll take kind of a look at it and then also see what we're doing as far as capturing some worms. First things first, I see a sticker. Get rid of that. And we will take this bait container out and see if we've caught anything. Looks like we did catch some. Not a lot though. I used the apple goo and some paper. So we did we did catch some. It has only been like three or four days. So, you know, low expectations, and that particular bait container did not have very many holes in it. It's probably one of my old ones before I came up with a decent system. So I will just hand pick out those, and we'll add them to the rest when we get them. Okay. So let me look through and see what we have left for worms. Looks like we still have a decent amount of worms in here. The, the castings are getting pretty dry. So they should be jumping out of their castings and getting right into that bait station pretty quickly. I'm going to use a better one um, this time with better holes in it. So hopefully they will make more progress the next time we check on them. So here's the ones with the lots of good holes in it. And then I'm going to put this back in. There's nothing wrong with it. There's not enough worms in there to really worry about at this point. Cover it up with castings so I don't get any aerial bugs running amok. Kind of mound it up a little. And then I'm going to put it back on the shelf. This one is almost finished. Not seeing a lot of worms out here at all. So let me get my container and let's see what we've pulled out of the bait container. Okay, that looks pretty good. Take the ones on the outside off of there. And we've even got quite a few on the inside that I'll have to regroup. And then let's look at the rest of it underneath. I think I can just grab those up and we can light migrate those. I think I can combine this one with the other one. There's just not very much left and it's taking up one of my containers. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them in with that container we just saw a minute ago and then I can free up one of these. Alright, there we go. Container one and two are now living together. And hopefully that apple goo that's in the container here will lure them all out and we can hurry up and get done before spring gets here. All right, on to number three. All right, here is container number three. Let's take a look and see how many worms we get out of this one. That's a pretty good amount as well. So I'm pretty happy with that.
probably can rescue some of that for the for the next bait container. Let's have a look and see what we've got left in this. See how close we are to being able to harvest this. There's still some left in here. I'll stir it up and I will give them one more baiting session. The moisture is great for um, for sifting, which means it's probably not super great for the worms. So they're going to want to get out of this very quickly. All right, so I am going to dig a hole here in the middle and get the bait situation started back up again. All right, that should be enough to entice them out of these castings. I'll just backfill here, kind of mound it up, and hopefully the next time we will be able to finish this off and sift it and get more fabulous castings so I can start my garden again this year. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.